Welcome everybody to a brand new season of the Channel Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, Kristen Carpenter. I'm also the CEO and founder of Verity Brand Communications, the presenting sponsor of the Channel Mastery Podcast. 2021 marks Verde's 20 year anniversary, which I can't believe. It also marks come June, the four year anniversary of the Channel Mastery Podcast. I feel incredibly fortunate to be working with Verde and all of our incredible clients and also to serve you through this podcast. So thank you again so much for being part of our community and welcome if you're new here once again. So I meant to launch this brand new season back in January of this year at the start of January that would, you know, so clean and tidy. It didn't happen. And you probably can relate to why, because I know so many of our colleagues and friends in the outdoor recreation and outdoor active lifestyle markets are experiencing the same thing. Business has been running at a breakneck pace. I'm super grateful for that, but it has literally been a pace like I've never seen before. So even without the winter trade shows, the pace was unprecedented for our clients, for our team, and for the interest of the consumer in the active outdoor lifestyle communities and activities that we serve, which is awesome, right? So even though we're a quarter late in relaunching the season, I actually think it turned out better because we now have a full quarter of business under our belts um, to draw from and to help you and serve you in trends and observations going forward. Um, and also, I think you'd agree that April 2021 has much stronger and more positive consumer sentiment than January 2021. I'm not saying we're anywhere near out of the woods, but I'm saying it is definitely trending up out there. Um, so what is this new season all about and why should you care? Well, it's all about focus over here. And the reason that I wanted to focus, refocus, triple down on focus is because I feel like, you know, as a former journalist, I love interviewing people and I definitely hope that it brings value and news and everything else when you tune into our podcast. But what we all really need to be tethered to right now is what we've all, always called the North Star here on the Channel Mastery Podcast, and that is your target consumer or your target shopper. And you come here every single week to discover what's working and what isn't in terms of how to reach, engage, nurture, convert that consumer across the channel they prefer. That's why you come here. And through COVID, we are all consumers as well. And through COVID, we've all changed. Just 360 degree change. And we continue to change. Okay. So every week we're going to continue to drill down into the specialty consumer, how their preferences and behaviors are changing and what's really working today to uh, give them an absolutely kick-ass specialty brand experience. That's what we're going to focus on here. So our most recent consumer behavior report, Verity started to do those in second quarter of 2020, and we continue to do so every other week. So the next one will be published on April 12th, I believe Monday. Um, Consumer Behavior Report, we shared a very insightful survey from McKinsey that highlighted the behaviors of consumers that will actually carry forward from COVID. I'm only going to share a couple of these with you here because they just set up today's guest perfectly. Um, consumers intend to keep buying online. That's sort of a duh, but I mean, it's a big deal as retail is starting to reopen and what retail's purpose is continues to shift and grow. Despite third and fourth quarters where we saw a drop, overall online penetration among retail categories with generally high on online penetration was at 48% in January of 2021. That's 11% above pre-pandemic rates in, the, in these categories. Um, consumers are also going to continue curbside pickup and digital wellness tools and all of the conveniences that were really safety measures, but were conveniences that they discovered and got used to and began to prefer last year in 2020. So convenience along with values. Um, values alignment is also another key consumer trend. Consumers will continue to prioritize as they choose brands, especially in our markets where they self-identify with brands, they will self-identify with brands that share values with them. Okay. So those are three of, I think, six or seven things that were in the McKinsey report that you can check out at veritypr.com forward slash blog. Every other Monday, we'll have a fresh report for you. And then on the podcast, we'll go deeper into the trends and feature guests to go deeper, which we get to do today. I'm very excited about. I mean, convenience had to be a primary driver for consumers last year. And now that we're inching closer to being closer to real life or in person again, 
consumers are going to hold on to those conveniences like really tightly because they gave us back something that is absolutely irreplaceable that we all value and that we all want more of and that is time that ties right into one of the most important things i took away the consumer take which is going to happen every show in this new season going forward the consumer take from the interview that you're about to hear today um, basically it was so obvious. I never saw it really. I mean, I knew it, but I never actually like pieced it together and saw it until my guest today said it. And you'll, you'll get to hear the whole story here on the interview in just a few seconds. But basically he said that the active lifestyle consumer is one of the most patient consumers he's ever seen. And he's worked across a lot of different categories. What did he mean? Well, we as active outdoor lifestyle con consumer enthusiasts, or maybe it's health and wellness or pet, any of the specialty markets we serve, right? We have such a passion for wanting to belong to these communities and for what you know we get to do in our free time, thanks to these brands and things we love to do, that we are okay with having a really fragmented, high friction experience. Um, we're okay with that because we love these experiences and, and these brands so much. So that's the opportunity that my guest today sees in everything that he's doing. And you're about to meet Robin Thurston. I'm so excited that Robin agreed to be on the Channel Mastery Podcast and kick off our new season. He, this is such a good interview. You're going to learn so much. He's so accessible and just really lays it all out there. So Robin is here today to discuss the future of his growing empire that is now called Outside Incorporated. He is the CEO of this new endeavor, and it is a powerful organization that incorporates most of the leading active outdoor lifestyle publications, frankly, uh, trade and consumer. Editorial is only a part of his vision. It's a very important part, but it's only part of it. And in today's show, Robin gives the big vision behind Outside Incorporated. You do not want to miss this. Prior to Outside, Robin ran a, co a consumer genetics company called Helix in Silicon Valley, and he co-founded and built Map My Fitness into one of the world's largest open fitness tracking platforms. So he's a tech business leader. He's also an avid outdoor lifestyle enthusiast himself. Outside Incorporated is really his vision of the future. It is a brand experience in and of itself, and I'm so excited to present Robin and his vision with you here today, Channel Masters. So without further ado, here is the Robin Thurston episode of the Channel Mastery Podcast. Let's do this. <laughs> 